Hi, this is Eric, and today we're looking at MetQ Structural. You can access MetQ Structural through the main pull down. Here we're looking at the design tab and the stair module. Basically, fill out dialogues and click on the corresponding letters in the diagram. Then change the values as needed. Layers can also be configured to meet your office standards. Here I'm configuring the top landing and changing it to 36 inches. I'm going to go ahead and end. click the top point of the stair and using directional distance I give it the height of the stair. And this here creates a side view of our stair with the railing. If I want to do a plan view I can come down and do the same thing. Or if I want to do an elevation, same points are entered. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do 3D stair. It's just a toggle, and it's exactly the same kind of an input. And here it will ask you for the rotation, and we can just spin it around and then shade it. Now let me walk you through some of the other utilities you'll find in Structural. Here we're looking at the Structural Steel Utility, which has 3D and bill of materials. Here we have the Perlins Utility, also in 3D. Here we have the 2D Ladder Utility, which works very similar to the Stairs Utility, and the 2D Structural Bracing Utility, and also a 2D Railing Utility, a Beam-to-Beam -beam Connection Utility, and a beam to column connection utility. A 2D, 3D plate utility. A 2D, 3D gusset utility. A way to draw both 2D and 3D structural bars. And finally, a welding symbol program. We've only skimmed the surface of what's inside structural, but thanks for watching and have a great day.